But first, the Sudanese army says that it has secured its most significant advance in the 11-month war that has uprooted more than 8 million people. In Omdurman, soldiers backing military chief Abdel Fattah al-Burhan have wrested control of the state broadcaster headquarters from the RSF paramilitary group that they've been battling since last year. Battles have continued despite calls from the UN for a truce to allow desperately needed humanitarian aid in during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. Our regional correspondent tells us more. Shortly after the victory, Sudanese soldiers shared videos on social networks. Some of them were shot inside Sudan TV's building in Omdurman, its uh, Khartoum twin city located on the other bank of the Nile. Uh, on these videos, we can see uh, soldiers celebrating inside the building. Some of them are even praying there. Many of the videos were shot outside in the streets. Uh, dead bodies lie in the streets. Uh, we can see dozens of military trucks destroyed and even more civilian cars completely destroyed as well. So it's a victory for the Sudanese military, but is it going to change anything to the war uh, in Khartoum? Probably not, because it's not a strategic building, even if it's located close to the Nile. It's more a symbolic victory. That's why soldiers are celebrating. Uh, during the past week, the uh, uh, Sudanese army has been claiming several victories in Omdurman. Uh, the soldiers say that they are pushing back Rapid Support Forces members. Today, they can show to the world that it's true that they are gaining more and more territories every day. But uh, is it a victory for local journalists? Not at all. It's still impossible for journalists to uh, read the building because the fighting continues in the area and because there is no free press at the moment in Sudan. Uh, local journalists are not allowed uh, to work freely. Some of them have been killed and it's still impossible for foreign journalists to get in Sudan. So it's a victory for the military, yes, but not for Sudanese journalists.